The universe is vast and filled with mysteries, but sometimes the most intriguing puzzles are found right next door. One such mystery lies in our neighboring Andromeda galaxy, also known as Messier 31 or M31. People have watched the Andromeda galaxy for generations, fascinated by the giant spiral about 2.5 million light years from Earth. However, recent observations of Andromeda and its surrounding satellite galaxies have revealed a strange and unexpected feature that doesn't fit our current understanding of how galaxies evolve and behave. What scientists have found is that nearly all of Andromeda's brightest satellite galaxies, those smaller companion galaxies that orbit around it, appear to be located on the same side of the galaxy. Even more curious, they're all on the side that faces the Milky Way. Out of Andromeda's 37 brightest satellite galaxies, 36 are on that side. The one exception is a galaxy called Messier 110, which stands out simply because it doesn't follow the pattern. This is an extremely lopsided setup, and it goes against everything astronomers thought they knew about how such systems should be arranged. This pattern suggests that something disturbed their more expected placement and left them aimed our way. According to the standard model of cosmology, which is the leading scientific explanation for how the universe works, says that galaxies grow and evolve inside enormous clouds of invisible dark matter. These clouds are what hold galaxies together with their powerful gravitational pull. Inside these clouds, Larger galaxies like the Milky Way and Andromeda form over billions of years by pulling in smaller galaxies, which eventually become their satellite companions. This process of growth is called hierarchical formation. It suggests that the small galaxies we see orbiting larger ones today are the leftovers of that growth process. They're like crumbs left behind from the cosmic meal that built the main galaxy. Because this process happens over vast timescales and is influenced by many random factors, the satellite galaxies are expected to end up scattered randomly around their host galaxy. There's no reason they should all end up on one side, especially not the same side. But that's exactly what's happening with Andromeda, and this isn't just a random quirk of nature. New simulations run by astronomers including Kosuke Jamie Kanahisa and his colleagues Marcel Palowski and Noam Liebskin from the University of Potsdam in Germany, show that the odds of this kind of lopsided satellite distribution happening by chance are less than 0.3%. That's a remarkably low probability. Imagine tossing a coin and getting heads dozens of times in a row technically possible, but so unlikely that you'd immediately suspect something unusual is going on with the coin. That's the kind of situation astronomers are facing now with M31. The presence of such an extreme asymmetry in a system so close to us is deeply puzzling. It raises the question, when is something just a coincidence, and when does it signal a deeper mystery in the way the universe works? Astronomers are trained to be skeptical of coincidences, especially ones that appear so rare. If the satellites are arranged this way, they reason, then there must be a reason for it. Some force, event, or condition that caused it to happen. One idea is that this alignment may be temporary. The satellite galaxies are all orbiting Andromeda at different speeds and distances. Over time, say, in another billion years, their positions will likely change. They may spread out and look more randomly distributed again. That would suggest we're simply catching them at a weird moment in time. But again, the odds of randomly catching this moment when the alignment is so perfect and so lopsided are incredibly small. And if the alignment really is a temporary coincidence, it's still the kind that scientists struggle to accept without a better explanation. After all, in science, if something looks unusual, the instinct is to dig deeper until the cause is understood. There's always the chance that what seems like a random fluke might actually be the result of something new and previously unknown, something that could challenge or even change existing theories. 
So what could be causing this odd behavior in the Andromeda system? One possible explanation is that Andromeda recently experienced a major galactic merger. About two to three billion years ago, scientists believed that Andromeda collided with and absorbed a mid-sized galaxy. This kind of cosmic event is extremely violent and chaotic. When galaxies collide, their stars, gas, and dark matter interact in complex ways, leading to massive changes in their structure and behavior. The Hubble Space Telescope has even observed remnants of this event in the form of star streams and bursts of star formation within Andromeda. It's possible that many of the current satellite galaxies were dragged in along with the galaxy that merged with Andromeda. If that's the case, they might still be clumped together because they haven't had enough time to spread out. That could explain the strange alignment, at least partially. But there's still a big question. Why are they all on the side facing the Milky Way? Even if they arrive together, it doesn't explain why they'd all be grouped so neatly in that particular direction. Some scientists have even floated the idea that the satellites might somehow be pointing toward the cause, possibly the Milky Way itself. But this idea has problems too. If the Milky Way played a role in influencing the position of Andromeda's satellites, we'd expect to see a similar pattern in our own galaxy. That is, our own collection of dwarf galaxies should be grouped in the direction of Andromeda, but they're not. The Milky Way's satellites are scattered in a different pattern. Also, the gravitational pull between the Milky Way and Andromeda isn't strong enough to neatly organize Andromeda's satellites in this way. Of course, there are still some uncertainties and caveats. One issue is that astronomers currently have very detailed motion data for only a handful of Andromeda's satellite galaxies. Motion data tells us not just where these galaxies are, but how they're moving through space. That's crucial information if we want to understand whether this lopsided alignment is stable, temporary, or in the process of changing. Thankfully, more precise data is on the way. The European Space Agency's Gaia mission is in the process of collecting detailed astrometric data, which means extremely accurate measurements of the positions and motions of stars and galaxies. Over the next year or two, the Gaia team is expected to release new data that will cover more of Andromeda's dwarf galaxies. That should help astronomers figure out how long this strange alignment has existed and how long it might last. Another important point is that there are likely many more dwarf galaxies orbiting Andromeda that we haven't yet discovered. The ones we know about are just the brightest and easiest to spot. Many dwarf galaxies are extremely faint and contain only a few stars, which makes them very difficult to detect, especially if they're far away or hidden behind the bright core of Andromeda itself. In fact, the faintest satellite currently known around Andromeda named Andromeda 15th lies on the far side of the galaxy and does not follow the same lopsided pattern. So it's possible that once more faint satellites are discovered, the current alignment will look less extreme. In the end, the mystery of Andromeda's lopsided satellite galaxies remains unsolved, but it's a fascinating puzzle that could open new doors in our understanding of the universe. Whether it's the result of a recent galactic merger, an unknown aspect of dark matter behavior, or a rare cosmic coincidence, it challenges our current models and invites us to take a closer look.